guys, today I'm going to be recommending some movies with a literary edge. So in the past I have talked about some movie adaptations of books and I love me a good adaptation but today I'm only going to be choosing original screenplays. So I have a little bit of a mix of biopics as well as movies that just kind of center around reading or literature in some sense. So I'm going to start with the biopics and I have four here. So the first film is Pandemonium and this came out in 2002 and this is actually about the relationship between Wordsworth and Coolidge, the poets, and it is a fantastic film. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It's quite dramatic. The cinematography is beautiful. It's just a lovely film to look at and I have absolutely no idea how accurate this is um, but it was completely wonderful and it had me absolutely captivated. One that I highly recommend. And the other film that includes a poet is Bright Star and this is about Keats. This stars Ben Whishaw and I, I love I love Ben Whishaw. He's fantastic. This is another beautiful film just to look at. Um, it's very romantic, it's very depressing, uh, but it is completely gorgeous and one that I definitely think you should check out. Oh, and this one is from 2009 if you were wondering. Next up we have Wild, and you might be able to tell that this is a biopic about Oscar Wilde. This is from 1997 and it has Stephen Fry starring as Oscar Wilde a role he was absolutely born to play. Uh, he does a fantastic job and I love Stephen but not normally for his acting ability. I don't love him acting and stuff. I more pref prefer him as a personality or doing sort of sketches, that kind of thing. But he is so so good in this. This and Jeeves, in Jeeves and Worcester are like his crowning roles. Um, but this is just completely wonderful. It is witty, it is funny, it is heartbreaking, it is infuriating, and I absolutely love this. And the fourth biopic I want to mention is super corny, super inaccurate, but it's one that I just absolutely love and have such a soft place for. This is Hans Christian Andersen. Uh, this is starring Danny Kaye, and I grew up watching this. I love this. Uh, this is from 1952, and it's a complete flight of fancy as far as Hans Christiansen's life went. Um, for starters, they make him extremely heterosexual in this, and there is much debate as to whether that's the case. This is a musical film. It is super bright, super colourful, super over the top, and it's just so much fun. If you like Hans Christian Hansen and you like musicals from the 50s, then check this out because it is a lot of fun, but don't expect to learn much. So that was it for the biopics. The last two films are not based on any literary figure in particular. They are simply films where literature plays a big part. So the first is The Dead Poets Society. Absolute classic completely wonderful. I adore this film. This came out in 1989 and it is just utterly inspiring. It is a beautiful film. It's very melancholy at times. It's very uplifting at others. It stars Robin Williams as an English professor, John Keating, and he is just completely wonderful and it's quite a different role for Robin Williams as far as a lot of comedy films that he did in his career. It's set in an all boys school, if I don't know, that helps to sway anyone for some reason. Uh, but if you have not seen this, it is well worth checking out. This is just fantastic. And the last movie I want to talk about and the main reason I actually wanted to do this list uh, this is a French film. This is My Afternoons with Marguerite and this came out in 2010. It is completely wonderful. I don't actually speak French so this is the version with English subtitles. It is such a beautiful, inspiring, heartwarming, just gorgeous film. This stars Gerard Depardieu who I'm never sure what I think about. He has a very diverse career. Um, I never can tell if I'm going to enjoy something with him in. He's, I've seen some interesting films with him. He is 
wonderful in this. He plays quite a simple man who never learnt how to read and he meets this old lady Marguerite in the park and she is reading and she seems so content and so happy with the world and he wants to know why she loves reading so much and she ends up teaching him to read and it is just I know it probably sounds a little bit corny but it's just so beautifully done it's so touching it's quite dark in a few places but it's just gorgeous and it's one that if you like French films you should definitely check out it is so beautiful I adore it so that's it guys those were my film recommendations for today if you have seen any of these movies I would love to know what you think of them as well as any other recommendations that you may have for sort of literary themed films thank you all for watching I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you soon